Earlier this week, a group of lawyers from the Trump administration headed out to California and argued in front of a panel of judges from the Ninth Circuit that detained children coming across the southern border do not actually need things like toothbrushes and soap. These lawyers appeared before judges and argued that even though they're required by law to give these children safe and sanitary conditions, they do not need soap or toothbrushes. Now, that's the part of this story that's been grabbing headlines, but the issue that the judges mostly wanted to focus on was something that's been a little bit overlooked or slightly buried in some of the news stories about it, and that is the fact that in addition to not giving them soap and toothbrushes and things like that, the administration is also making them sleep on cold concrete floors. They're essentially treating these children like they were prisoners of war being held in Gitmo, sleeping on cold concrete floors with either no blankets or foil blankets, leaving lights on all night so that it's nearly impossible for these kids to actually get a full uh, night's rest, subjecting them to these horrid, frigid temperatures, scorching heat temperatures, not doing anything about it. They're not able to bathe properly. They can't even brush their teeth. They're crowded into cells with a dozen other people and that is an absolute violation of US law, but not to Donald Trump's lawyers, no. They think that's how children are supposed to be treated, which really makes me wonder what's going on at their own homes. I think social services might need to look into that if that is what these lawyers consider safe and sanitary conditions. I wanna read a couple of quotes here from the judges while the Trump lawyers were trying to argue that, no, we don't need to take care of these kids. Uh, you had one judge, U.S. Circuit Judge Marsha Burzon, who said, you're really going to stand up and tell us that being able to sleep isn't a question of safe and sanitary conditions. Then you had Circuit Judge William Fletcher, who went even further, he said, are you arguing seriously that you do not read the agreement as requiring you to do anything other than what I just described, cold all night long, lights on all night long, sleeping on concrete, and you've got an aluminum foil blanket. I find that inconceivable that the government would say that this is safe and sanitary. The agreement that Judge Fletcher was referring to there was the Flores Agreement, uh, which the United States finalized in 1997, which basically says, yes, you have to take care of these people. You have to provide them the basic necessities. They cannot be sleeping on cold concrete floors. Yes, they're entitled to things like toiletries and you can only hold them for a certain amount of time. Oh, and by the way, you also have to give them a bond hearing and allow them the opportunity to not be locked up, something this administration is low to do. But here's the thing, a few months ago, actually, and a couple years ago, Judge, uh, Judge Dolly G, who has been phenomenal on all these issues, actually got a chance to rule on the Flores settlement uh, because the Obama administration kind of wanted to do away with the bond hearings. And Judge Dolly G said, no, you can't you're going to continue giving these children bond hearings. That's the settlement agreement. You can't undo it by trying to pass a different immigration law. You can pass a different law all you want, but it's not gonna change the fact that we're gonna give these kids bonds hearing. Now, Dolly G has also uh, ruled on several other issues that the Trump administration has uh, brought or been challenged on, and they have uh, lost pretty much every one. That's why they're in front of the Ninth Circuit trying to argue to get one of these most recent decisions by Judge G overturned. And in that decision, she did specifically mention toothbrushes because, you know, oh, the Flores settlement may not have expressly said things like toothbrushes and soap, but you kind of have to give it to them because it did leave open for interpretation what safe and sanitary actually mean. And no rational human being is gonna think that sanitary means you don't get to bathe and you don't get to brush your teeth. And the Trump administration wants to overturn that because they're perfectly fine with the hellish conditions that they are forcing these children to live in for committing that horrible misdemeanor crime of crossing the US border. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now 
You can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.